start by finding the volume. So formula for volume is what? Base times height. Area of base times the height. Okay, so we just need to find the area of our octagon. So I know from here to a vertex, uh, vertex sorry, is going to be 5.2, so that's going to be 5.2. I know the sides are 4. It's a regular octagon, even so though you can't tell by my picture. In half. Yep. So that's going to be a 2. So how can I solve for the apophony? The, the, the you can't use 3069 because it's an octagon, so these angles oh. aren't going to be uh, 60. Theorem. So Pythagorean theorem, so we're going to have 5.2 squared is equal to a squared plus 2 squared. Oh, 5.2 squared. Yep. So 27.04 is equal to a squared plus 4. Subtract 4. 0.04 is equal to a squared. Uh, I got 4 .8. So A is equal to the square root of 23.04. You can leave it like this since we're not using calculators. Um, so then what's our formula for the area of a polygon? One half what? One half times the apothem times 20. One half the apothem times the what? Perimeter. Times the perimeter. What's the perimeter? 32. 32. So half of 32 16. 16. So 16 square root of 23.04. That's the area of the base. And we want to multiply that by the height, which is 4. So then the volume is going to be equal to 64 times the square root of 23.04. Wait, I think That's what I got, except I got something different. I got that. You need to find the area of the base, multiply it by 2, which we already did when we were trying to find the volume, we found the area of the base and multiplied it by the height. So we need the area of the base plus the area of um, the sides, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So area of base is 16 squared of 23.04. And how many bases do we have? Two. Two. So we know we're going to have 32 squared of 23.04 plus, these are all rectangles, right? Mm -hmm. You could just find the area of one rectangle and multiply it by well, eight. Oh, that you know what? They are squares. That's nice. You can't tell by my picture, but oh well. You could find the area of one and multiply it by eight. Or you could find the perimeter and multiply it by four. Take your pick. Um, let's just find the area of one. What's the area of one? Sixteen. So, sixteen times eight. 128. Since we're not using a calculator, that answer is fine. Okay. That's as far as.